Welcome to RV Quick Tips. Quick Tips. Hey guys, it's Bear with the Gimme Camper. This is a new segment we're going to call RV Quick Tips. What we're planning on doing here is going over quick two to three minute videos on simple everyday things that most of us have figured out already. But this series is more for the new camper, the new RVer. So this one's for you. All right, guys, we're going to talk about RV fridges today. So your fridge is going to get moldy and nasty if you put it in storage and you leave the door closed. Why? Because there's moisture in there. If there's nowhere for the moisture to go, it's going to turn into mold. So all you got to do is leave the door open so some that moisture can get out of the fridge, okay? It's not a big deal. Um, they make things that are aftermarket that do this probably a little bit better in some circumstances. Some people use pool noodles. Some people just stuff something in the door to keep it open. It doesn't matter how you do it as long as you do it. So just do it. So on a Norcold fridge, like in my old camper, um, put a picture of, the, of a handle from a Norcold fridge here. You'll see a little gray tab inside the handle on both the freezer and the fridge. As long as you just grab that little tab and you just push it over a little bit, it'll pop a peg out on the end of the door. That way it won't close completely. It's pretty simple but effective. Now, my new camper has a Dometic fridge, so it has some of these uh, clips. Apparently, these are pretty expensive if you have to buy them and you don't have them already, which is kind of dumb because it's a piece of plastic. Anyway, so you get the clip, um, and then you just clip it in the door, and voila, it'll close a little bit. And it'll actually, those clips will latch where they're um, closed partially, but it'll still leave it open about a quarter of an inch. That way, the moisture can get out. And you're done but just remember don't forget to open the fridge or you're gonna have a nasty mess if you have a nasty mess is it the end of the world no you can clean it up um, but it's a lot easier to prevent it from happening and because those seals and stuff they're just hard to clean around yep do not forget to hit that subscribe button